guys and welcome to uh, another kit review okay so this one will be a fairly short one all right so today we're having a look at a kit from mini art and the kit number is 35564 it is in 135th scale and it is their office furniture and accessories kit okay so as you can see from the picture on the front this is exactly what you get two desks two chairs a couple of uh oil lamps accessories like vases etc a couple of telephones some fire extinguishers and you do get some uh posters to put on the walls etc all right fairly straightforward nice little diorama add-on to any kind of building set or even if you wanted to just a street scene where you've got furniture piled up and bits and pieces piled up in a pile okay so what you see is what you get, as I said. All right, nice little kit. Um, I think this normally retails for around about $22, $23. This one I got on special cost me around about $14, I think, $14, $15 Australian. I wasn't going to buy it, but I thought I do have a use for these, so let's go ahead and buy it anyway. What the hell? Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the box. On the side, Ukrainian, Russian, English, usual warnings about 14 plus. This is a model kit, paint and glue not included. There's your normal price, okay, 23 bucks Australian, which is a little bit pricey for this kind of thing. And many arts address in the Ukraine. On the other side, we've got some more of their accessory kits, wooden barrels, village utensils, right? bit more furniture set which is just a table chair and some dressing things and whatever and household crockery which is just plates glasses etc so all of these are really nice little add-ons for any kind of diorama whether it's a street diorama or a building okay so that's the box that's what you get inside the box let's have a look see open up first sheet out is your okay so this is literally your parts painting guide this is your color call out which is the usual Vallejo Mr. Color Tamiya etc and these are the posters that you get or actually on this sheet that you can use on the walls of your diorama and there are from what I can see German US English and Russian posters, etc., that you can use. There's a US map, a German map, and a Soviet map. So you do have a fair bit. Keep calm and carry on. That's quite modern. It's definitely not um, 30s, 40s, 50s, okay? But a lot of these posters are World War II related, okay? German, English, etc. So it does have a fair scope there. On the other side, sprue layout and assembly instructions. Okay, chair, lantern, telephone, other type of telephone, etc. And your desk, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. All right, so let's have a look and see what's in the box, which isn't much from what I can see. So this is the standard mini art plastic bag, which you can literally just here with your bare fingers and I'm pretty sure a baby could probably open this so we'll get rid of those you do get clear parts in one separate bag okay so we'll have a look at those shortly these two are exactly the, oops sorry that was in the wrong spot sorry about that guys these two sprues are exactly the same all right So I'll put one of those aside and let's have a look. So as you can see, this is your desk, okay? Your chair, etc. Chair back, fire extinguisher, lantern top, 
and bits and pieces like that. So fairly straightforward, fairly simple um, kit to build. Let's have a look at the detail. So the desk is fairly plain as far as the detail is concerned. Fairly straightforward. That is one of the lanterns that you get. Okay. Should be an interesting challenge getting that off without destroying it. Old style for our extension from the 1920s, 30s. Okay. Uh, they were not red. Red didn't come in till late 20th century. All right. So these would have been brass or something similar. You get two of those. This is your chair, seat, and back. Okay. Legs. and let's have a look at the other side that's as you can see a telephone and we'll turn it over and these are just accessories for the chairs and the telephones okay fairly straightforward fairly simple like i said nice little accessory set definitely not 23 if you pick this one up cheap like i did definitely worth it and let's have a look at the other one which is the clear parts and see how easy i tore that plastic open that's standard mini art plastic it's very easy to tear so in the clear parts you get three sprues as you can see Move that out the way. And these are just the parts for the lanterns and also a couple of bottles for and glasses for the desk. Now, as you can see, they have a bubble inside, which is disappointing. All right, if you're going to use these as a bottle on a desk, you wouldn't want an air bubble inside the plastic. And this is the same okay these two are exactly the same again just a couple of clear parts for the lanterns etc and for just um sitting on the desk okay fairly simple fairly straightforward and that's it fairly simple straight and easy review today you get three sprues of clear two sprues of desk, chair, and accessories. That's it. You get your sheet of posters, which can be used almost anywhere in a World War II diorama setting. And there we have it. That is Mini Arts Office Furniture and Accessories Set. Okay, so as usual, thank you for watching. I hope you did get something from it. Um, I know I just did okay <laughs> and because uh, I really don't like the bottles with the air bubbles in them again thank you for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for your comments and as usual guys until next time take it easy and I'll see you later